All right, man, we back. Motor Street Sports Talk with some good news for, our, for the gym rats. Uh, Gretchen Whitmere's, the governor, governor, her appeal to close the gyms down after they are set to reopen June 25th has been shot down by uh, Supreme Court Judge Maloney. Let's talk about it. Hit that subscribe button, bell icon button, share the video. Meanwhile, you can go to the bars. You can have half, half capacity in the bars. You can have, I think the clubs might be reopened as well too. I mean, you can restaurants reopen. You know what I'm saying? All these non-essential, you know, rest places like uh, Best Buy and all these other stuff open. But she didn't want to let the gyms open for whatever reason it is. Now, some gym owners did sue her. And she made the barbers all wait a little bit longer as well too. And the, the nail techs and the, you know, beauty, beauticians, excuse me. Because they, they also tried to sue her as well too. And they went against the grain. And was you know some of them was even still doing hair at they shop so that's one thing about a female leader and you know some of these dudes act like females too let me say that when, the reason I, why people don't like women in places of power is because they too emotional you know what i'm saying and they make irrational decisions based off emotion they hold on to things and that's just something that a woman do they hold on to stuff once a good woman gone bad ain't nothing you can do to change her once a woman fed up, ain't nothing you can do about it. Her Kelly, you know what I'm saying? He right. Once you got, once a woman is scorned, she gonna try to hold it. She tried to, she trying to really show the gems, and she tried to show the beauticians who really the boss, who the boss is, who runs shit. And obviously, her scientific data that she getting didn't match up. Why the gym should be closed and everything else should be open. So. Now her and the public health person, you know, can't shit they can do about it. Gym's opening June 25th. I'm not sure what the safety protocol is. I know social distancing is supposed to be it. But at the end of the day, it's people's, it's people's prerogative to do what they want to do. You know what I'm saying? That's exactly what it is. If you if you feel that the gym is unsafe, you don't have to go to the gym. If you feel that the bar is unsafe, you don't have to go to the bar. If you feel the grocery shopping is unsafe, hey, right now you can order your groceries on Amazon and Myers do uh, grocery drop off and deliver. Or deliver. So, excuse me, at the same time, it's the people's opinion. You can get the coronavirus anywhere. You got people at the plant working, ain't really no social distancing going in the plant. They, they at risk of falling out dying in the plant by wearing a mask. So why, 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 I mean, come on, we know what it is. We're in the $3 billion hole. All these other businesses can, can dig themselves out the hole, but the gyms can't. That's an essential thing for some people's health. With health ex uh, problems and all that stuff, the gym is, is essential. The gym is so essential that a lot of healthcare providers provide, you know, gym memberships now. For a small fee of $25, you could be grandfathered in. And even if you lose your insurance, you still can go to any of those gyms that's in that bubble. That's in that. That's in that bubble. So, like I said before, man, it's just a vendetta. She just got a grudge, man. She just got a grudge. And I don't agree with everything that she be doing and all that. But damn, I can go have a drink, but I can't get on the treadmill. I can go eat a burger and sit down, and not be six feet apart. But I can't hit the. I can't squat. It just don't make no sense. At all, she may not make no sense. So, I mean, them, them businesses losing a lot of money. Or do you do you got the money to you know reimburse them before some of them businesses go out of gym? I'm not even talking about the, the power change. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot of small personal gyms. You know, one on one gyms. It's a lot of small business uh, uh, gyms that that need that money. They that water bill still going. They still getting charged the light bill. But you're not, you're not, they're not sending no relief out to the small businesses. That's my whole issue. You're not sending no relief to the to the small businesses. All the, all the small business loans are going to big corporations. Ruth Chris, Shake Shack, the LA Lakers, Mike Morris, you know, all the businesses that don't need the money. And you expect a lot of the small business or the gym or the small uh, owners business owners and gym owners not to not to still operate you crazy you 
crazy, man. So she took that L, take it hard, put that L around, put it on, put that L on the chain, put it around your chest because you was wrong for this one. Why are you trying to hear that bullshit data? I can go go to the bar and get some Hennessy. But I can't go lift weights or work out, man. That's one thing I, I disagree with her on. And she tried to fight it and you lost. So shout out to Joe's Maloney. Don't forget to check out our current Detroit news playlist. Don't forget we're on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. We can reach out anytime if you got business questions, quiet response, your video quest. Twitter's the fastest way. Then uh, Facebook, I'm really on IG, so I will tell you that. But uh, honestly, just share the video, man. We go.